We begin tonight in the community of Tynan, the site of that deadly collapse of a grain silo filled with corn that killed one man and sent two others to the hospital. The Bee County Sheriff's Department is investigating the incident and say that they will be also working with OSHA on this case. Our Michael Gibson has the details for us in tonight's top story at six. One of the witnesses to the grain elevator collapse here in Tynan told sheriff's investigators that one of the three victims was on top of the silo while the other two were down below. One of them was looking up at the time of the collapse. That man who was underneath the grain silo collapse was 37 year old Sergio Jason Alvarez. His body was found several hours after the accident. The man on top of that silo was believed to be Ben Mingers and the other man on the ground was Andreas Martinez both recovering at Spawn Shoreline Hospital from their injuries. The initial investigation is, is that it's an accident, uh, but through investigating it, we'll see if there's any criminal activity that occurred. We haven't seen any, any of that so far. The Bee County Sheriff's Office is investigating the accident and will be joined by OSHA to try and get to the bottom of this tragedy. We're not really exactly sure what caused uh, the, the, the collapse, whether it was striking it or just uh, too much uh, in one area or outdated equipment. We're not really sure. We're looking into that. OSHA is going to be involved in, in, in working on that as well. The county commissioner for this area, Tino Oliveras, was on the scene right after the accident. He says he was impressed by the rescue effort taking place as some 250 emergency personnel and other good Samaritans from across the area showed up to help dig the victims out of the tons of corn they were trapped in. Once I arrived upon a scene, uh, thank God there was a lot of support uh, that was given. I was extremely impressed by the amount of supporting uh, entities that we got from other counties. County Emergency Management Director and Assistant Bevo Fire Chief Ray Garza was in charge of the scene and says this emergency was like no other. And we try to prepare as best we can, but we can't prepare for everything. So, you know, there's no tool I think that would have helped us any more than good old broken backs just pulling up and using shovels to scoop out as much of that grain as they could. Hard work that paid off as two lives were saved on this day. From Tynan, Michael Gibson, 3 News.